What's up, everybody? It's another edition of Iron Shopping's Iron Soapbox Exclusive. I'm your boy, The Brick Slinger. Hi, Mr. Analytical. And today we're going to do an album review off of our sister in Christ, Toy, with her latest project, Change Over Currency. Now, before y'all before y'all came over, you probably checked the interview. If that's not the case, check out the interview, which is within our, within the playlist. Other than that, let's get it in. First track that we're gonna touch on is Misunderstood, featuring Blue. Like, uh, I like, I really do like this song because it's. It's, 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 first of all, it's the first song, so it, start, it set the pace. It's like a mid-slow tempo, uh, with a great storyline within the song. And, uh, the melody of the hook is awesome. Uh, I'm really feeling the track as it begins. What you it's understood, I think it's a uh, great start. Because they have a lot of you, a lot of critics wouldn't say because it's it's too mellow, it's too slow. It should have been like more dramatic. But to me, I think it was a perfect fit to uh, as far as the lyrics. She um, introduced herself as being misunderstood as as before she came to Christ and after she came to Christ. That's a good way to start with a good album. And also, uh, I like the. Um, the R&B artist on there, I think she she felt real good, along with, along with the toy coming right behind it. So I think that was a great way to introduce that. The EP. Yeah. So, what everything he just said. <laughs> All right, next track. It's called Benji. Ah, another good joint. Uh, Definitely like the the concept of money. Tribute to God over money, what up, Lizzie? It uh, it definitely kicks up a notch as far as the tempo go, and definitely give us a concept of her view on how she how she respond to money before Christ. So it's a real good song. Now with me, I believe this is a. Uh, Great commercial track as far as like you sitting in the elevator, song come on. I'm saying radio, definitely good radio song. Uh, something like when you walk into a store, that, that song come on. See, that's the type of um, track it is. Now, the song itself, I would say um, it is an introduction to what she was. Um, struggling with, which is money. So that's like part two of Miss Bina Misunderstood. So it's a good So definitely a good song there. Part two of Misunderstood, huh? That's how I interpret it. Okay, cool. Uh, next track is uh, one of my favorites. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, this is a, I want to say a potential single. This is definitely one of the singles that uh, got my, that definitely got my attention. Hopefully it becomes uh, heavy rotating in radio and Christians and God willing, secular. Uh, hopefully they'll also, I hope that the video comes out and you know it's gonna be a, a strong banger. Other than that, this is one of my favorite bangers. Uh, excuse my phone. Uh, like, it's kind of like what it's like Benji part two in my case. It's like after Christ. It's like Benji, she's like, I want it. This is my response to what I saw. Be money before Christ and don't do it. And 
it's like after Christ, uh, chasing after that cash, something I don't do, something I won't do. It's like, wow, this is this is definitely a banger that worth being listened to on the radio, over the videos, and uh, maybe movies and short films. Hopefully this song, definitely this is one of my favorite songs that uh, I can mess with. <laughs> anyway, for me, Don't Do, first of all, let me congratulate the um, producer. I think it was, who was it, SNL or Steve T? Uh, this one was Steve T. Steve T, I, I love that piano beat. You know what I'm saying? It might, it just might be better than the beats on now. Just might. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my opinion, man. <laughs> All right. And, um, it is a good song. I especially, especially like the, um, like the flow of it. From the, um, first and third verse and gives you like an explanation of what to do and what not to do with money so, yeah. Yeah. all right next song is where would i be featuring rye redeem and Big ups to Robert Dean. That's that's my dude. And hopefully everybody that hears me out, go check out his work. Like he is a phenom he's, he's a phenomenal rapper. He's a he is he's a real cool dude. Check him out. So uh, wait, where would I where would I be? Yet yeah, another good song. I just feel like this is like a, this is like a, a, a soundtrack to a movie or something or a short film because it's it's it's, it's, it's testimonial and, 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 and it's, it's like it's it's so good. It's just, this particular song makes it hard for me to put it in words. So I'm just gonna say lyrics lyrics on point. On both, both Toy and Robert Dean brought, brought it to production. It's cool. Uh, really good song. I'm, I, 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 no more words. All I gotta say is, man, Robert Dean, what's wrong? Them lyrics is too raw, man. Dude, they, they ain't ready for that, man. Y'all ain't ready for Robert Dean. I'm just saying. That's all I'm gonna say about that. All right, we're gonna go another track. Uh, Big Deal featuring Rio and STL. Now, this is one of those up tempo party, party bangers. You know, you know what I'm saying? This is how a party is. Rio started it off, killed it. Toy comes up next, killed it. STL just straight with the nail on the car. That's how hard it is. Like, it gets, it, even though it definitely got you turned, jumping and fist pumping and all that crazy stuff, it's like if you listen to the lyrics. Please listen to the lyrics. It's. it's it, it makes you think. It's like that's what a lot of people want to hear. It's one expect from rap music nowadays is lyrics within the beat, tight beat plus tight lyrics equals a great song. Well, like I said, overall I give it a uh, song nine out of ten. And the reason I had to take a point off is for real. And the reason for that is though, at the beginning of your, your first couple of bars, you just kind of sound like a cartoon character, bro. Wow. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just, just saying, you, all them additives, you need that for real. But other than that, you know I'm saying, flow was ridiculous. You know what I'm saying, and, um, repetition, while I was in rapid fast was good. That's the hell of it. Definitely step this game up, man, as far as lyrics. With that um, big wheel line. <laughs> yes. Nobody could come up with that. Nobody. So, overall, like I said, no cartoon, voices, and then song will be straight. Uh, uh, next track, Undisputed. Oh, another one of my favorite. Only because of that Mayweather line. It's like, this is like the first, the very first song I heard from Toy that that just got my attention. Like anything that and don't do it. This song with that Mayweather line, it's like y'all gotta really check that line out. Like, and you might think I'm over over exaggerated with it. I hope I said it right. Hope I'm thinking I'm over hyping that particular line, but y'all gotta check that line out and hear what I'm talking about. Man. That's how hard it is. That this whole song is awesome. Plus the concept. The hook, man, it's like the hook by itself makes you just <laughs> think, like, man, God is undisputed. Like, nobody can touch God. Nobody can defeat God. He is that. He is undisputed. And it's like nobody can take you. No, no, nobody can take that away. Nobody can take that away. Beat was awesome. Bars on point. Mayweather line. Ugh! Me Undisputed was a great song because it's symbolic of boxing. I was saying, hence the term Mayweather. I was I like the fact she put a lot of energy in that song. Once again, flow was on point. Beat was definitely on point. <laughs> All right, next song we're going to be touching on is Praise Him. Featuring uh, Blue, D Keys, and Delante. Uh, that's definitely uh, got that West Coast vibe, and, uh, that Bay, uh, Bay, Tim that Bay style. Um, but it's a real good song. Uh, I wouldn't say it had particular bars, bars type of stuff, but if like you really listen to the song, it's like you're not, it's like you know, probably don't want, you want probably don't want bars, but you want truth. This song's give you that truth, and it'll definitely give you a reason to praise them. Hook is on point, beautiful melody. Uh, Delante was was on point with his stuff and uh, Toy definitely was bringing her game, bringing her a game. This is a really good song, man. Definitely something uh, just just to listen to when you just ch want to just chill and want to give him praise, you want to get a little hype for it. That's on you. Other than that, that's a really good song. All I gotta say is it's a good, like I said, many you worship song. Good, great song. So, good, like if you're in your car or you're trying to wash up real quick. And you know, do some everyday stuff. You get the same. Cool. Last one. Stand up. Which basically a, a good a good kingdom anthem. I will I don't, I don't want to say club anthem because this sounds more this sounds more outside of the club. Like even though it has that it it has that club feel to it, but it's not really club atmosphere type. Like 
that's it's like that's their anthem for us to just stand up. Uh, Toy is basically just ending the whole project with a. Well, it's time to it's time to be real Christian. It's time to real be real with our belief. It's time to be real with our faith. It's time to be real with everything that we have learned, from, not only from church but we Bible study and be on one on one time with the Lord. It's like that's the type of app, uh, type of song it is. It's that song which just say, "Hey, it's time to stand up. Let's do it." So, good song. Yeah, stand up is definitely uh, a reminder type song to let you know that hey, we're Christians, but at the same time we're not gonna put up with everything. Right. You know I'm saying we're not going to just sit on the sideline for everybody just corner us based based on the fact that we try to live a different lifestyle than them. You know what I'm saying like it, the word tolerance comes into play <laughs> with this song, so. <laughs> Oh, it, it all depends on what you can put it up with. But for me, like I said, I'm not really a subtle person. I'm more of a direct person. So, look, that's fine. It's going to force that on me. And I won't force my ideology. And that's where I got to stand up. So. Yeah. So, that's just basically the whole, uh, the whole EP, whole track list of the EP. Uh, we both recommend, highly recommend that you get it. Check it out for yourself. After you get done listening to us, go check it out for yourself. Be ready for Toy to come out and do her thing. Uh, don't do it as on radio right now. Getting that good air, getting that airplay. And uh, please, please, please support the kingdom. Get that toy. Change over currency. Other than that, brick sling. And I'm Mr. Analytical. And as far as overall EP, good on flow. I give that a nine. I'm not going to take a point away from lyricism because it's not lyricist. Got to take a point away from that cartoon character thing. So, uh, beats wise, I give that a nine. I'm saying like, as I have a particular style of beats person, so which may differ for somebody else. But overall, I give that a nine. Mm. Um, and that's um pretty much it for me. Cool. So that's that like a nine point nine. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> when it's all said and done, man, we got it. Got to continue to support kingdom music, support kingdom artists, support the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Other than that, go get that EP. Mm -hmm. I'm your boy, the Brick Slinger. I'm Mr. Analytic. Keep sharpening one another. Support the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Take care and God bless. Later. Buy that. Buy that album. No bootleg.